Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna talk about uh, again decisions and more decisions and the new Audi RS3, A45 or BMW M2. It's a lot of questions on my mind, man. As you all know, the new BMW M2 is actually out now. And uh, there are not so many videos yet, but but there's a lot of you know good feedback so far about this car. What makes it so special is actually you know the small shape and it's quite nimble car and and very powerful. 365 horsepower, 460 or 65 newton meter torque. So that's quite a lot of power though, um, and it's a real wheel drive as well. So that's another advantage too make it much lighter than the four-wheel drive car and BMW does have one of the best dual clutch gearbox mind you though that people who love uh, manual they still can get this car in manual mode which is amazing I, I guess it's just very nice but uh, here in Dubai you know and the Gulf you know there's a lot of street driving and highway driving and we don't have uh, the B roads like the UK or the Alps or the Mediterranean coast. So we just have a couple of roads for mountains and stuff. So, I, so what are the reasons that I'm actually thinking about changing the car? It's actually a couple of points, and people are asking me this question. You know, I mean, why are you rushing of selling the car? Why you want to sell the car? It's still good enough. It's powerful enough. Even though I'm very convinced that it is, for me, still the best health hatch in the market right now. But I always, you know, have this in my mind. I like to compare cars and see what's best, you know. And to be honest with you, like, I like to switch cars a lot, you know. Not because uh, I get bored from them, just because I think about the resale value and, you know, how new model comes along and then your car just suddenly drops in price um, even if it's still new or have low kilometers you know low mileage basically so this is one of the reasons too my car it's uh, it's almost for one and a half years it was a bit less one year and three months or so but uh, and my mileage is not that big actually 14 or 15,000 now, 14 and something. Another reason is definitely the, you know, I like to s switch cars, try new brands, you know. It's a different, you know, experience, man. Every time you drive a car, it's a different experience. Like, people who drive cars and know about cars, they, they will understand what I'm trying to say here, you know. Cars are not just a machine to take you from A to B location. For me, it's an experience, you know. It starts with you, you know, how you connect yourself to the car and how do you feel about it, you know. Um, that's why some people, they prefer a certain car against others because they have a personal taste, like everything in life, you know. So, so at this point when I bought the car, I thought it was the best, but now, um, the new BMW M2, the RS3 again, it just keeps coming to my mind. And I will tell you a small reason why is that happening to me. It's probably the engine, man. The RS3 have like probably the best engine into the market, you know. It's a five cylinder, it sounds amazing. And it goes like crazy too. And Yes, I was as I was saying the last in my last video that the RS3 doesn't look very good, but there's some people who you know were telling me no, it's a this big car, it doesn't look like show off or you know like the A45. So I'm not really sure, man. If uh, this is not what I meant, personally, I don't like the shape of it. Same thing goes to the new Ford Focus RS. I don't like the shape. It's a personal opinion. Maybe you'll find it amazing. Maybe you'll hate it. It's up to you. 
but for me it's a very you know basic Audi was probably a biggest a bigger grill or you know what I mean or just a little bit of you know a wider tire or even there's nothing you can there's nothing makes that makes the car you know like stand out you know and say oh I'm paying like extra 15 or 20 grand to get an RS model and new model or the S model so looks is not the best even the interior is exactly the same you know as the S3 or the A3 the only difference is probably uh, you know the seats and a couple of more options so that's kind of annoying though you know so you're only basically paying all this money for the badge and the engine you know so it sucks for me it just sucks you know okay let's break it down BMW on 2 it looks great from the front you know the rear again the new series the 2 series I hate them especially there's nothing nice about the rear too. I'm sorry guys I don't like the lights I don't like the you know the shape I don't like the you know sorry for all the fans but BMW if you don't pay for the M performance diffuser the regular diffuser it's pathetic you know it's like a small piece of you know of metal like just stuck there and it's not even a diffuser it's, it's terrible so and even you can see the exhaust silencer everything it doesn't even hide it so I don't know what they're thinking but performance wise I think the M2 is it's amazing car it's very powerful nice uh, it doesn't drive very very high but it's a, still a 3 liter 6 cylinder engine I think it's a dual uh, sorry a single turbo so it sounds pretty good actually even they make a specific exhaust and enhancement uh, for the M2 but it does work it sounds very very good interior it's and probably it's still the best again in the that category but the interior of the RS3 it's the best compared to the other cars but if you look compared to the other Audi models I mean the dashboard is just so plain there's nothing they took that idea of the A45 and they made the vents the AC vents reddish inside and it gives them kind of cool characteristics those like airplane reddish circle vents but anyways, BMW M2 interior, very sporty feeling, but it doesn't stand out. Man. Even the M4, I'm sorry, it doesn't stand out. I don't like the interior very much. And BMW M2 doesn't have any like M seats, whatever you know. So it's more. But it does have the performance steering wheel though, which is great. And there is like two or three different types of this performance steering wheel. There is the regular one, which is the M, M steering wheel, all leather, amazing feeling. I, I, I know that steering wheel, I touched it, I, I felt it. It's so grippy in the hand. And, and so thick, it's quite on the big scale, but still very nice. The other performance steering wheelers, you know, the carbon fiber parts and Alcantara, but it's exactly the same size and thickness and everything. But the one that I love the most is the full Alcantara steering wheel. So it had like a screen and it show you the revs of the lights. It's quite expensive, but it looks amazing. And I guess, you know, it makes the car even look better somehow. If you care about changing cars because you get bored, do it. If you want to change cars because of the resale value, like my case, and you want to try different brands while you can, again, you can do that. I mean, that's not a bad option, to be honest. Have a nice week, and see you next time.
Bye, bye.